computer and we are good to go. So over to you. All righty. Thank you, Cindy. It's an honor. It's an absolute honor to be here and to host today's call. So this week, several of us within ASEA were in a two-day program with Dean Graciosi on Accelerated Success Program. And so Cindy and I were chatting back and forth, texting, and we, I hope uh, I haven't heard Cindy's profoundness, but I actually got a lot out of one particular exercise, which was learning your why. Some of you may recall Barbie Bassett did this at an Envision a couple of years ago, but I redid it and I went a lot deeper. So the exercise is called Seven Levels Deep. You can go to YouTube. You can find it on YouTube if you want to learn and hear more about it. In essence, it's helping you find your why because Dean is very clear that when you get to that emotional point, you will make all excuse me, decisions in your life that will dictate your activities in your day based on your why. So you'll learn to say no to more things and yes to the things that will make a difference to your why. And so that question he used very generically, you can use it for anything, what is it important to you about becoming successful? That's question one. And then each subsequent question is, why is it important to you? So I will go through and share with you. I may get a little vulnerable, <clears throat> but bear with me. So my question was, my answer to that first question was to have enough money to carry me through my later years of my life. I don't have enough in my savings right now. Okay, so question two is why is that important to me? Well, I want to continue to travel to see my family, friends, and of course, to stay in my home. Okay, so why is that important to me? Well, I enjoy being with family and friends. I feel connected. I often will travel to see them. They don't travel to see me. So why is that important? Well, I don't, this is where it starts. So his point is that some question, it will go from your head to your heart. And this is when it hit me because then I said, I just don't want to be alone and isolated. If I don't travel, I don't see family or friends and having even local friends. If I don't have enough money to go out and have dinner, I, my love gift, my love uh, communication is time. I love time with family and friends. So then that is why it's important to me because that was only question four. Then I said, well, that's when I feel accepted and loved is when I'm with them. So why is that important to me? Well, boy, this one hit me hard. And this one, money you can't really relate with, I understand. But I get to be recognized as Joyce. And it brought back a moment, many moments, when my father would sit my twin and I down and say, you are individuals. We often would compete with each other. We had a hard time recognizing that we were individuals because people compared us our entire life. And we both have fought to say, how can we be seen as an individual? Well, interestingly enough, as much as we fight that, we are each other's best friends and we feed and support each other the more than anyone else in the world. So the other day, my sister was actually sharing the Ubuntu you know, ethos, and it dawned on me, she and I have been the Ubuntu for each other since we were born. <laughs> so um, this is when I got emotional. And I realized that is our strength. The very thing we've been fighting is the fact we are individuals within a powerful dynamic partnership most people don't ever get the honor of. And so now I own it that it's a strength that I am a part of a twinship that is a blessing. I hadn't owned it that way. And so why is that important? Because I finally saw I as an individual add value and I matter. And that was question seven. So it will get to your heart and you'll get it. So I asked when we get into these calls in the next 20 minutes, know that you matter. In that moment, you're making a difference with someone because you reached out and showed them that they matter. So that's what I want us to take as we go in. It's already five after. So um, I guess if anybody wants to ask a question about the process. So Joyce, let, in, in the next 20 minutes, rather than making calls, let's do the exercise oh, okay. of asking yourself, why is that important? Why is that important? Why is that important? So get a piece of okay. paper 
and actually do the exercise that Joyce just brought us through. So why is it, why is it important for you to be successful in ASEA? And then ask that to yourself seven times, just like she brought you through. And then when you get to that answer, ask that question again to go deeper and deeper and deeper like she did. And we'll meet you back here in 20 minutes. Okay, so I'll just stop the recording. I'm just gonna put everybody on mute and we can start digging.